thank you God for our family. Thank you God for the sky, the clouds. Thank you God for you always love me. Thank you God for always caring. Thank you God for daddy. And thank you God for mommy. And thank you God for grandma. Sometimes we can lose sight of the basic and simplistic ways that we can be grateful. And it's something that I want to stay at the forefront of the, of the minds of my children. And so this video is about sharing with you three simple gratitude activities that you can do with your kiddo. Uh, let us know what you think. Here we go. Hey everyone, it is a crisp fall morning. And so I'm a bit layered up. I've got my cocoa that I've been sipping on and I'm glad to be back with you all. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Z. I share lesson strategies, resources, and tools based on blending 10 plus years of teaching with now homeschooling. And it's good to have you guys to continue to come back each week. I am gonna sip this a little bit and then put it down so I can talk to you. I was just thinking about uh, this morning and waking up and being able to flick on the light as I got ready for the day, being able to half heat should I want to turn it on, I'm trying to hold out, but and be able to stay warm and layer uh, with my kiddos and knowing that we have a home and a roof over our head. And so sometimes we can lose sight of the basic and simplistic ways that we can be grateful. And it's something that I want to stay at the forefront of the, of the minds of my children. And so this video is about sharing with you three simple gratitude activities that you can do with your kiddos. And uh, let me know in the comments below if there's one of them that resonates with you or if there's something that you're currently doing uh, to just help instill gratitude and gratefulness in your children. Um, I'd love to hear that. I would also like to hear you would view into uh, Inspire Me Mondays. This would just be quick, short videos where I come in and I share a story or anecdote or something that happened through the week, talk about something that was a faith walk for me or something just to be of encouragement as we jumpstart our week. So if you think that would be of something uh, that you would be interested in watching, just let me know in the comments below. So one of the simplest ways that we do gratitude is to start our morning and our night with gratitude prayers. And this is just a simple way for us to say what we're grateful for. The kids are able to just think about their day and for being, you know, awake and here. And so I think it's important that I uh, allow my children to hear me pray so they can hear just simple ways that we can have a conversation with God without it being super deep. And it's our way of just talking to him as soon as we get up before we start our school day. All right. So who would like to go first? Another simple gratitude activity is called the three minute gratitude journal for kids and I will leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. Of course your children can do something similar in a personalized journal but I just find this to be super cute and absolutely just tangible and simple. So how it works is that your child 
will look at a sheet like this and because my children do gratitude daily my daughter has started this and she can do it every day if she so chooses and most often because she loves it so much she is doing it daily in here versus saying it verbally but she'll eventually take this and talk about it out loud as well so after putting their day and the date I'm thankful for and she chose three things that God made me special a home a family then the second block uh, or rather the third block is this person brought me joy today and she can write someone's name she usually doesn't fill out this part um, but if she should should choose to do so she can this I thought is really interesting I feel because it's tapping to your child's emotions and kind of giving them an awareness of where they are in their day and then what was the best part about your day draw or write about it and here I think she's talking about something she did either with her siblings or one of her friends um, where she got a chance to play and so look how simple and easy that is and it's quick it's a simple jump starter it could be at the beginning of a school day if you homeschool or just a way to kind of capture and get your child jump started into thinking about and being aware of their blessings and imagine being able to go back and assess this as a parent as well as to share with them have moments where they can share and then to be able to catalog their own thoughts it's just wonderful for me so the final gratitude activity I want to share with you all today is just a way to get the kiddos doing something artistic, but it's still so simple. Simple. Um, I got these printables on a website, and I will link it in the description box below if any of you are interested in these free printables. But we start out with just a tree printed out, and they can choose if they want it on white or green paper. And what I wanted to do is to have a gratitude activity where the kids could show that they are grateful, not just say that they're grateful. But let me tell you about the supplies first. So we've got some pencils because I'm gonna have them write it out before they color it or trace it. We've got child scissors, markers. These are colored pencils and crayons. And then I've just got some double-sided stick tape um, so that they will be able to take it up and down when we do what we're doing for it. So I'm gonna have them to brainstorm how, what are ways that they can show that they're grateful? They will use their pencils to write in what are some ways that we show that we're grateful. So one way might be by saying thank you. So they'll say, say thank you, okay? And then they'll be able to color this. Cut it out. And they're gonna use the double-sided tape uh, to tape it onto the bottom here. And so the tree will have all sorts of leaves filled of ways we can show that we're grateful. Then after that, when they actually do it, then they're gonna remove it from down here and they will put the leaf on the tree. So this entire paper will get covered with leaves of ways that they have shown they are grateful. And it's from them and they can each do it. Thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with us as always. We consider it a blessing to have you here. Uh, we hope you have a blessed, blessed week and continue to um, be grateful. Be blessed. Okay, bye.